Ashley Osborne, and I have spent countless hours of my life researching, learning, and practicing all the different ways we can make money online. My goal with this channel is to prove to you that not only can you too make money online, but you can do so easier and faster than you think. If making money online interests you, then please hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification. That way you get notified every time I make a video. Let's get into today's video, shall we? Hello, my friends. Welcome back or welcome if you are new here. Today, I'm really excited to go over seamless patterns with you guys. We are going to be specifically using CF Spark patterns today, but you can make seamless patterns on a whole range of software programs. Canva, Affinity Designer, Illustrator, uh, Photoshop, Photopea, I mean, the list goes on. But today, I'm especially excited about CF Spark Patterns because it is AI generated. In previous videos, we went over CF Spark Art where we typed in a prompt up here and we were able to generate uh, art based on the types of prompt that we typed in there. And it was very fun and uh, very addicting. But today we are going to be using the pattern section of this website and it's to me even more exciting because of what I usually tend to design for myself. I'm going to go ahead and show you first why I think patterns are so exciting. Uh, I think it wasn't the last video, but maybe the video before that where I talked about how I felt that digital paper was like the number one thing a designer should design for. And that's because of the versatility. Well, repeat patterns is kind of right up there with digital paper. Repeat patterns you can do so many things with. Tumblers, t-shirts, dresses, uh, fabric, shower curtains, pillowcases, duvet covers, tapestries. I mean, oh my gosh, you guys, you can do so many things with repeat patterns. Specifically, what I wanna show you today um, is spoon flower because we haven't touched on this website yet I do want to just touch on it a little bit and then in a separate video we will do more of a tutorial on how to use spoon flower but spoon flower is a great website for repeat patterns or seamless patterns so instead of just a traditional digital paper which is more like a 3600 by 3600 pixels or 12 by 12 inches uh, paper that is not necessarily seamless or repeatable. And when I say repeatable or seamless, I mean picture them in tiles next to each other. And if they can be next to each other and they just flow all together as in one photo, that's considered a seamless pattern where there is zero seam. You don't know where the, the art begins and ends. Spoonflower.com is one of the most popular places to sell this type of art because it's so well known as far as fabric. They do have the ability, you can do wallpaper on here. Like, have you ever, I know you're, there's people out here like this, I know it, I just know it. It's not just me, where you doodle something or you see a picture of something or a flower and you're like, man, I wish I could just get this pattern, but like, wouldn't this just make the most epic wallpaper? Or wouldn't this make the most amazing uh, dress or, bedding, etc. Well, Spoonflower is a website that makes it to where those things are possible. And not only are they possible, but you can also be a designer on Spoonflower. So again, we'll go in further detail on Spoonflower specifically in another video, but I just wanted to go through and give you an idea of why seamless patterns and repeat patterns are so cool. So let's go ahead and click on fabric in Spoonflower real quick and we'll see what types of designs pop up. So as you can see, there's just so many different types. We have floral, we have this kind of alien abduction in the forest scene, that's different. <laughs> we have some lightning bugs, fireflies, um, another type of antique floral design. This one's really cute, like mushrooms and a bee and all sorts of things. So you can see on this one, it's like dragon maybe. Um, let's see, keep going, more florals, some more animals. I like that, a little alcohol ink. And the, the great thing about these, like I said, is that you may just see this one tile, but this is set up as a repeat pattern. So if you put this next to it all over the place, it would become one 
large repeated image. These cats, that's cute. I love it. Okay, so this gives you kind of an idea of like um, all the, I'm just, by the way, I'm just totally in love with this style, this kind of like avatar, glowing Pandora look. I am in the love with that lately. Um, okay, so there's just so many different types of fabric that you can, uh, that you can either order or if you were a designer that you could design and then upload for other people to order. Same with wallpaper. There's just so many options. So look, that same design that we just saw, we're now seeing as a wallpaper. Just how awesome is that? It's just so awesome. I think you get the idea of why seamless patterns would be so popular and so versatile and so helpful. So let's go and hop back over to CF Spark Patterns and see what we can create. I pay $29 a month. I actually just started paying $29 a month. I just upgraded to have um, the all access pass basically. Um, I was just paying $9. I paid $9 uh, for two months. And then I decided, you know what? I do want the all access because I, I it would take a, maybe two, three, four videos to be able to go over everything that is offered in the all access uh, pass off for Creative Fabrica. But this section specifically is what spoke to me. So um, I just did the free trial and then a $9 a month um, when I first started. So I definitely encourage you to just dip your toes in or go for the full access pass. You won't regret it. So right now you can see down here that I have made a few different things. Okay. Now I tried so hard to get the prompts correct for dinosaurs. And I don't know, I'm, you know, I'm still very new to AI art and um, faces can be very tricky for AI art. And I think I'm going to need some more practice on my prompts to be able to get like a really good detailed face. Because as you can see on these, it's just like you get that it's a dinosaur in space, but clearly not a good artist. <laughs> if you know what I mean, like what, what even is this? I don't know. But let me show you what I was able to create. So here we are on my design bundles uh, account here. And this is my selling account or my, my uh, design bundle shop. And I was able to create with CF Spark patterns, I was able to create these skull patterns and I am just in love with them. They are so detailed. It is something that um, would take me personally, at least uh, hours to create. If I were to draw this out and procreate, I definitely could do it, but it would take me a very long time. And then to set it up as a repeat pattern would take even more time. So one, it was fun and it was challenging to get the prompts correct. And also I just love the result. It, it was so much faster than what it would have been if I were, like I said, to just uh, sit down and procreate and hand draw it out. Uh, so I really enjoyed it. I decided to put these into 20 ounce tumbler packs and I think they turned out amazing. So I think for now, my goal is going to be not uh, trying to do things with like faces, like dinosaurs. I don't, I tried a lot as you can see, and I just did not personally have success. This was the best one I got and I don't really like it. <laughs> so I'm thinking since I saw a lot of florals, uh, for repeat patterns that I'm going to stick to florals today with you guys. And we are going to try like, um, I'm thinking that Hawaiian flower, which I can't personally remember the name of the Hawaiian flower. So I am going to go ahead and just type in the Hawaiian flower and see what the name of that is because I am not remembering hibiscus hibiscus. Okay. Let's just copy that word hibiscus flower. I think it would be really cool to have a repeating pattern that was a hibiscus flower. Okay. So let's do that. Hibiscus hibiscus. Okay, so we're gonna do hibiscus flower. Now, if you didn't watch my previous AI art video, I'll just summarize real quick what we're doing. So right here, it tells you what kind of repeating pattern would you like to create? And what you're going to do is you're just going to start typing 
exactly what you want the computer to create for you. The more detailed, the better. So if we just put in hibiscus flower and then chose hyper-realistic as the style, it will populate hyper-realistic intricate detail for us. Now we could just hit ignite and we could test it out and see what we get. Now as a reminder from the previous video, again, I do have speed credits right now. As you can see over here, it says speed credits 911. And that's because I have a membership. If you don't have a membership, you won't have these speed credits. And uh, basically you go into a queue. So when you hit ignite, you could be in a queue of like 30 or more or less, uh, really depends. And so the speed credits can come in handy, but they're not necessarily necessary. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So these are cute. I do like this. I think we could get better detail here. This is obviously super blurry and this is too up close to me. So I'm thinking what we'll do. How do hibiscus, can you get a, can you have a hibiscus flower field? Let's Google that. I don't know if we can have a hibiscus flower field. I've never been to Hawaii, if you can't tell. <laughs> I have no idea. I just like have a dream in my head of what it would look like. Okay, so you can have like a field. So maybe we'll, we will put that. Oh, are there flower fields? Hawaii is known for its lush. Let's look at this. This is perfect. Hawaii is known for its lush tropical vegetation and bright aromatic flowers. You know what? I'm going to highlight lush and tropical vegetation actually, and bright. Lush, tropical vegetation and bright. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to come back to our area here and I'm going to put control V to paste what I just copied because I love how they wrote that out. So lush, tropical vegetation and bright hibiscus flowers. And Let's do hibiscus or Hawaiian flower field. And then let's obviously do that because it wants us to. Okay, so now that we copy and paste, we have lush tropical vegetation and bright hibiscus flowers, Hawaiian flower field, hyper realistic, intricate detail. That should give us something. Let's hit ignite and see what we get. So that's a really great way um, of helping yourself find prompts. Maybe not uh, searching for prompts specifically, but uh, search what you're looking for in Google and see if you can find like a really good description to help you out. <gasps> oh my goodness, you guys. This is so great. Okay, I love... This one right here is my favorite. So I'm going to click the down arrow and I'm gonna go ahead and click, well, publish and hide prompt. I don't actually want to hide the prompt, I don't care. We can share the prompt with everyone. So I'm just gonna hit publish and we are going to see what we get. I'm so excited. So while we're waiting on this, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Affinity Designer because that's the designing platform that I prefer. Uh, that way I can show you guys how you can tile it next to each other and prove that it is in fact a repeat pattern. Here I have my template open that I use for my 20 ounce tumbler designs. And this is just a 9.3 by 8.2 inches uh, canvas because that's what I use for my 20 ounce tumbler designs. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna bounce back over to Creative Fabrica and, and download our art. Okay, so now we're just going to click where it says open. Perfect, and we're going to get to see it up close. It looks so pretty. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit download. It is going to download as a zip file, so you will have to extract it. And then we are in Affinity Designer now. Go to file and then place. 
and then grab our Hawaiian flower. Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it open on the corner here. Perfect, so let's say that's the size that we like right there. What we wanna do now is select it, hit the Alt key or the Copy key, however you wanna do, go about copying, but I'm gonna hit the Alt key and then just grab it and pull it over and we're going to line it up. Now, if you struggle lining it up, you'll just select both, go up here to the alignment tool, and then align them evenly. Perfect. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit the Alt key again while they're both selected, and I'm just going to copy them again. And I am gonna put them down here. Now, this time I'm gonna go ahead and group these together just to make it a little easier to scoot it. Let's see if I can get it scooted just right. Let's see if I got it just right. I think I got it off just a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and group these together as well. And then I'm going to select this one and this one, go to my alignment tool, and we are going to align them in the center. Perfect. And I am just moving these all around just to fill in the little spots. And I might not be doing it absolutely perfect, but I think you definitely get the idea. I mean, how epic is that? Like, that's just so pretty. Okay, let's go do it again. Okay, that one was really fun, but this time I want to do a variety of colors so let's see if we can get it to do a variety of colors it looks like it pretty much pulled from like the reds and pinks and i want like a variety let's see i did bright hibiscus flowers let's see multi-color maybe let's try that and see what that gives us okay so we're getting a little bit more variety here i do love that it came with the yellow Let's get even more. Um, let's see, instead of tropical vegetation, let's do tropical multicolored hibiscus flowers. Try that one. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, instead of blush, let's take that out. Multicolored hibiscus flowers. Let's do orange, orange, pink and white Hawaiian flower field. Yes, let's do that. <gasps> yes. Oh, we did it. I am in love with this one. Okay, let's publish it right now. Okay, we're going to open it now. Perfect, now we're just going to download it. Remember that we're going to extract it. Head back over to Affinity, and let's go ahead and hit File, then Place. And we will see, oh, that was the first one we did. Nope. File, Place. Downloads. There it is. Oh, this one's gonna be so pretty, I can just tell. All right, again, I'm going to hold down the Alt key and then just drag it over. Alt key, drag it over. Okay, and now I'm gonna select all of them, go to the alignment tool, and we're going to align in the middle. Perfect. Apply. And now you can see that you don't see a line over here, but we do see a line here because this needs to be moved over. 
So we'll just select these and then scooch. Let's see what that looks like. Looks like we need to go one more scooch. Scooch. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is so great. Okay. So, you know, if you have trouble drawing um, flowers, I actually do have quite a bit of struggle drawing flowers because I just get into the perfection of it all. And it's just ridiculous. Flowers aren't perfect, but uh, I'm a perfectionist. And so I do tend to get stuck in that. And so I will just spend forever just more shading and more shading and blending and shading and blending. And then I won't like it. And it'll be hours later. If, if you are like that, maybe doing your florals this way would be a great way for you to do it. I'm going to go ahead and hold down the alt key again and bring this back down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and group it again like I did the last one. Same with these ones here. I'm going to group it. I group them by just hitting control G. And then I'm going to push the alt key again and just drag it down again. Okay, and now I'm going to hit control A to select everything. And then I'm going to go to the alignment tool and align to the center apply and it looks like we don't have a line here but we do have one there so let's see if that's lined up better i think down one nope we were right the first time up one i mean it's so pretty you guys it's so pretty i love it okay so let me show you the the way this would look we're just going to use um, a mock-up generator to give you an idea of what this could look like on the different things that you could potentially sell this on so we are going to go to file export and i'm going to export it as let's do a jpeg if you're worried about licensing at all um, and by that, uh, for those that are just starting out are a little unfamiliar, licensing meaning how, what am I allowed to do with this now that I have created it? What am I legally allowed to do with it? Um, you can get that information right here under where it says download. It says any usage allowed. And if you're still like anything, anything, go ahead and click on any usage allowed and it'll bring you to the Spark license. And it'll tell you everything you're allowed to do. So create unlimited digital end products, unlimited physical, give away your creations for free, resell, sub-license, share, post your creations on social media, create your own items to sell uh, on print-on-demand sites, okay? They're at, at, and literally at the bottom, anything you can think of, okay? So just know you are safe to use this in any way you see that you want to use it, okay? So let me go ahead and go over to place it, which is the, so now we're going to head over to place it just so that I can give you guys an idea of what it would look like on mockups now that we have created a seamless pattern. Okay, so place it is the subscription service that I personally use for my mockups. Uh, but for today, I'm just using it uh, to be able to show you what types of things you're going to be able to put a seamless pattern on to be able to sell. Let's go ahead and go to all apparel for now. And what we want to do is let's click on duvet cover. This is a great example of something that is an all over print that you will be able to create. Okay, so once it loads it, all you got to do is make it fit. Just make it fit. Crop. And there you go. There is a duvet cover. Okay. So cool. Okay. And then here you can see that we have our design on a pair of leggings and the yoga mat. Another thing that you could do would be uh, a hoodie or a hoodie, an all over hoodie or an all over dress. Uh, so let's find an all over hoodie. This is a great example of an all over hoodie. And by all over, I mean the design does, it goes all over the product instead of just like in the center or in the corner. And so this will be our last example so that you guys can just get a really good idea of 
why seamless patterns can be so great to make and why I think that CF Spark Patterns just gives us so much more ability and it's just so exciting and so fun. I mean, how cute, I would wear that. I would wear that in a heartbeat. That is so cute. That is, oh, I'm just so excited. You have a wide range of things that you can create with this. It's so fun. It's so cool to be able to make art with your words. It's just still so mind blowing to me, but this is such a cool feature of Creative Fabrica. I just had to show you guys. Uh, if you guys want to check this out, I'll have the link in my description for Creative Fabrica. And I would love to hear if you guys end up checking it out and what you end up creating. Um, I hope you guys love it and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.